Hey everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online activity content hub. Today we are going to be making these temperature charts that are visually represented through colored rice. They're super cool and a really great way to start introducing numbers and weather terms and temperatures and ranges to young children. This is what mine looked like if I were to do one over the course of several months, starting in the summer months when it's really warm, going to the winter months, it gradually changes with the colors of the rainbow. So I'll show you exactly how to make this activity. First, what I did was I colored my rice. So I just used plain white rice, put them into Ziploc bags with a few drops of food coloring and alcohol and shook them around. It's actually super easy and really fun to do. Kids will love this part because they get to shake the bags and then once it's dried overnight, it's ready to use. So what I did was I made various colors of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and I let them dry. The next thing you'll need to do is print off our free print printable, which looks like this, completely blank. And it even has a legend at the bottom with different ranges of temperatures has Celsius, Fahrenheit, the date, and the color that you want to represent that temperature. It's a really good idea for this activity to maybe do it at different times throughout the day, maybe in the morning sometimes, in the afternoon, and even at night if you can, to get a really big range if you want to really see some colors happening through your jar really quickly. So this is what my chart looks like filled out. So I took some information over the course of several days. So this is what it was recently in July and August. And I actually went back just so I could give a really good visual representation on some data, which is another thing that you can do with your child by going back on data that you can find online. I have my colors to represent the corresponding ones, which also match my rice. So for this activity, you're going to need your rice, your principal, you'll need a spoon to measure out all of your rice. You'll need a clear jar, make sure it has a lid just so it doesn't spill. And you'll need some markers that match the colors of your rice as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill out our chart here with the dates. So for example, we can put July 3rd as one of the dates. And if we were to look at a thermometer, we can see exactly what temperature it was on July 3rd and fill it out accordingly, either using Celsius, Fahrenheit, or maybe both. I'm just gonna take a guess here. July was pretty hot, so I'm gonna say it was about 26 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go down to my chart here and I'm going to match that to one of my colors. So if we wanted to do this as the rainbow, I'm going to fill in all the squares. So my hottest color will be red. My next hottest range will be orange. The next hottest range will be yellow and so on. And you can really make them any color that you want. Just make sure that they match your rice. So on July 3rd, it was 26 degrees. I go down to my range here, meaning that is one of my hottest and highest ranges that is going to be red. And I'm gonna continue this process all the way until I have at least five, six, seven data points down here. Another really great term to start using with children. Next, once we have it filled out, similar to this, I'm gonna go and fill up my clear jar here. And you want to decide beforehand how many scoops each date should be. I just went with a one-to-one -one ratio. One spoonful of rice equals one day. You can do more or less, really depending how large your jar is. So on July 26, it was 94 degrees. We need to use the color red because that's what it is in the range. I'm going to do one scoop of rice and put it in my jar just like that. And I'm gonna continue this pattern moving down the dates. You can do it one day at a time or you can get all of your data first and then add your rice. Really up to you and your child to see what you wanna do. Eventually, once you have it all filled out, and start to add your rice, it'll begin to look something like this. So as you can see, I did some summer dates, some fall dates, and I even went and got some winter dates as well to get the temperatures, and it looks something like this. So the more dates that you have, the fuller your jar is going to be. Really cool activity and a great way to start introducing weather and temperature languages to young children, as well as some mathematical terms like ranges. Hope you enjoyed that activity. Let us know how your temperature chart turned out. Have a great day.